Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the two topics of pivot tables and pivot charts in Excel. Now you might think, well, I don't really know what a pivot table is or a pivot chart and why do I need to know it? Well, what happens is a pivot table, let's look at some data for a second. So let's say this is our data set and what a pivot table does is summarize by some label like uh, this could be by product or by salesperson or by state or industry or whatever. So this one is by industry, so it summarizes, put all the healthcare numbers together, and then you can do a chart based on that, and that's a special kind of chart called a pivot chart. So let's get started. My name is Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial skills like Excel. So let's go back and look at this data set. This data set has about a thousand rows, so it's about a thousand different. So uh, it's at row 1001. So this is a data set that has different transactions. So let's see, look at our headers. We have date, we have salesperson, the customer contact, the customer, the corporation, that's our customer, the segment that they're in, the department that we worked with, the market, uh, this is the stock market that they're on, NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, or the NASDAQ. This is the sales price. This is the state that they're located in, the time zone, and then the industry. So one thing you can do is to set up for a pivot chart and a pivot table, then you need to have clear headings and they need to be in columns and you don't need an extra row. So you, you don't need a blank row or anything like this. So this is perfect. One thing you can do to look at the data, you can go to the data ribbon and then filter. And you can filter by, you can do by dates. So you can do ascending date. So then it sorts everything by dates. So you can see we have the salesperson, the customer contact, the customer, the name of the company, the segment, the department that we're working with, the stock market, the sales price, the state, the time zone, and the industry. So let's do four different pivot tables and four different pivot charts. So let's get started with the very first one. Let's uh, summarize by industry. Now, if we'll click somewhere in this entire table, then we're going to insert and then insert ribbon and then uh, pivot table and it says the table range is A1 through K1001. That's what we want and we're going to put it on a new worksheet, the pivot table. So immediately the pivot table, it goes to another contextual ribbon. It's called pivot table analyze and so what we have is we're going to work with rows and values and columns and filters. So we want sales by industry. So we're going to grab our total sales and slide it down to our values. We're going to do this and it does sum of sales and we can do several things. Sum the count of how many sales we make or the average, the max, the min, so on. But we want the sum, that's the total of our sales and we want it by industry. So we're going to take the industry, find that and drop it in rows. So this makes, let me make it a little bit bigger here. So this makes it where we have in rows all the different, this is by industry. Now, if we click on this, we have our pivot table fields. We could put this in columns. Conceptually, it's the same thing. But sometimes, generally, we put things in rows more than we put things in columns, for example. So let's go back and put it in rows. That's an easy table to read. So let's clean it up just a little bit. Let's do, so if we click on uh, somewhere in this column, we right click and we can do number format. We we're going to use the accounting format. So it puts in dollar signs and to the pennies. Do we really want the pennies? So we can, let's go back and change that to accounting and no pennies. The pennies are not going to be helpful for us. So what we have is we have the, by industry, here's the totals. And we'll, we'll sort it here in just a minute. But let's go ahead and do a um, pivot chart. So we'll get over to the insert ribbon. 
and all the way over here it says pivot chart so that's a special type of chart called a pivot chart and it kind of gives us one kind of automatically so let's just make it a little bit bigger so we can see it easily now we want to clean this up a little bit we know this is total we don't need this little legend here on the right we probably don't need these um, horizontal lines we want to make this a little bit thicker so if we double click and click out of it it's selecting all so it now it says format our data series and let's do a gap width let's do a gap width down to say uh, 50 let's do a gap width and make it a wider column there we can edit just a little bit let's make these a little bit easier to read so go to the home let's make it a 12 point font and let's make it bold we can make it bold that way we can make this a 12 point font and make it bold and then the, the chart uh, title will do sales by industry so the general industry is consulting financial so on and we need to make this a little bit larger so let's make it an 18 point font and let's make it bold so that's easy to read now the one thing we want to do this pivot chart is tied into this pivot table I'd love to make it where healthcare is number one and then consulting and so on so if we do this little drop down arrow it says we want to sort by industry and it basically did this alphabetically it's sorting by industry and it's doing alphabetical we don't want to sort by the sum of sales and let's do it um, ascending would be from smallest to largest if we did descending it would be from largest to smallest so here we have sales by industry we have healthcare number one we can see that on the pivot table and then the pivot chart all right so that is our first pivot table and pivot chart so I'm going to slide it over here and I'm going to uh, change the label of this tab to sales by industry now what I'm going to recommend that you do is let's do the second one let's do sales by state so I'm going to right click move or copy move to the end create a copy and it's going to be an identical tab and it relates to that first data set the only data set we have here and let's call this sales by state so I'm going to change this to sales by state so if I go in to my pivot table I need to select pivot table fields I'm going to take out industry and I'm going to put in state so I'm going to drag state into the rows. Now, what's the problem? All these states have completely different numbers. We have, and then the, the chart updates. But then we don't see Alaska. We don't see all the state names. So let's simplify it. Let's do a top 10, the top 10 states. So we go here and we can sum of sales. We'll sort by sum of sales. We're going to choose a value we'll do a top 10 and it says by the way how many do you want and we'll, we can select 10 let's do the top 10 states and so we're finished here and it has still alphabetical right so let's go back and sort this by sum of sales and count it uh, descending so we'll put the largest state by revenues first California Texas Florida you can see how it works and these top 10 states represent 4.4 million out of our total 7.9 million so that's a big large percentage of our total sales are in the top 10 states so this is sales by state we need to edit this a little bit and we're happy with this we can stick with this we can change the color if we want to we'll do that on the second one uh, the third one that we do uh, uh, after this one so we've done the sales by industry we've done sales by state and you see everything gets updated all right the third one we want to do let's do sales by salesperson so I'm going to take this right click move or copy move to the end create a copy and it's uh, identical sales by state so we're going to change this to sales by salesperson 
So sales by salesperson. So if we click on the pivot table, I'm going to take out the state and put in the salesperson. So let me do salesperson first and get rid of the state. And I can just drag that, take it and drag it out where it's outside that box. And there we have it. So now we have, these are all the sales people. And so here is, this is a column chart. Let's change it around a little bit. So this is going to be sales by salesperson. So sales by salesperson, we want to sort. So the sum of sales and we can do descending. Okay, that works, but let's change it. We have sum of sales. Let's do the average sales by salesperson. So here where it has sum of sales, I'm going to go down to the values and I'm going to click on that little uh, information and I can do average. So now we can see instead of total sales we can do what is the sales average and you see that is a different number now we have the average of sales it's still sorted from top to bottom we have all these the same color we might want to go back and look at different colors so let's format the colors here in the fill we can vary colors by point and you see we have different colors now that may be helpful and then we can inside the table I'm, I'm sorry, inside the chart, we can change the chart type. So let's change it to a bar chart. A column is horizontal, I'm sorry, vertical, and a bar is horizontal. So here we want this, we have Helen Hayes is the largest average sales by salesperson. So let's put average sales here. Now, how do we make it where it is we maybe want the top person at the very top and the smallest at the bottom. Well, we can go back and change this. So it's descending, let's do ascending. And that changes it to, we can see the average sales by salesperson, the largest to the smallest. And this is the entire group of people. And so the grand total is, this is the average. The average sale is 79.22. And um, the hat we have, Helen Hayes is 8683. All right, let's do one more. And this is sales by customer. So I'm gonna right click on this, move or copy. I'm going to move to the end, create a copy. So now we have sales by salesperson. I'm gonna edit this to be sales by customer. We'd like to know, let's say the, the, the top 10 customers, sales by customer. We're gonna go back and look at this one. We want not only the average of sales. Now, if you need that back, you want the uh, pivot table fields back, if you'll click here and go to pivot table analyze, and it has the field list, it brings back the field list. We have filters, columns, rows, and values. So let's do the sum of sales. This is the sum of sales, and we wanna do this by customer. So I'm gonna add the customer, drag it down here, and then get rid of the salesperson. Salesperson, we got rid of that. Now there's so many customers, this is not gonna work. We need to have just the, like the top 10. So here on the row labels, on the customers, the sum of sales, we're going to choose the top 10, and I want it to be 10. 10 would be great. We can summarize this by 10. So what we have is, here's our sum of sales. Here is our top 10, and it, it goes back to the labels and alphabetizes the labels. So we want to do the sum of sales, the top 10. Let's do it in ascending order. So then we have the largest as at the bottom of the table because it'll make it at the top of the chart. So here is our total sales by customer. So our sales by customer. And here's what we have. We have a way to format with pivot charts, 
pivot tables first and then pivot charts. And you see that anything we do here, if we said, well, we want the top 15, then it immediately adds. Now 15 is the pivot chart. So the pivot chart is based on the pivot table. Let's go back and change that. So we have the top 10 customers. Here's our top 10 customers. And that's how we do pivot tables and then pivot charts on top of the tables. All right, thanks for watching.